Now it's time for the children's moment. So this is a great time to call kids or youth over to watch this video if they're not already watching it. Hey guys, I'm Pastor David and I get to share the children's message with you today. Our Bible story today is about thankfulness. It's a story about Jesus and a thankful leper. Now a leper is not an animal with spots on it. <laughs> That's a leopard. But we're talking about a leper. A leper, that's someone who has this disease called leprosy. And it, it makes you have sores all over your body. We don't see that in the United States, but very, very rarely. But back in Jesus' day, it was much more common. And people that had leprosy had to keep their distance from other people because everybody was afraid of catching it and they didn't want to catch it. Um, so in our Bible story one day Jesus was walking through a small village and there were these ten lepers there and they stood far away from Jesus and they called out to Him, the Bible tells us, Jesus, Master, have pity on us. And when Jesus heard them He said back to the lepers, go and show yourselves to the priest because the priest could declare them uh, clean of leprosy if, in fact, it was gone. So the lepers went on their way, and as they were going, they began to look at their hands and their arms and their skin, and they found that all the leprosy miraculously was gone. Jesus had healed their disease. They were so happy, they were singing and dancing and running, but suddenly one of the lepers stopped and he came back to where Jesus was and he threw himself at Jesus' feet and he said, thank you. And Jesus said, I thought there were 10 who were healed, but only one has come back. Only one remembered to say thank you. You know, we as kids and adults, we have a lot to be thankful for. Can you think of some things that you're thankful for? Yeah, nice home. Oh, you're thankful for your kitty. Yes, I understand that. Uh, anyone else? Oh, thankful for the food you have to eat? Boy, we just have so many things to be thankful for every day. Now, what if we were going to make a list of the things that we're thankful for? Would, would one sheet of paper be enough? I don't think so. Not if you started listing every single thing that you could be thankful for. Well, what about if you had like a small notebook with a lot of pages? You know what? I think you could fill that up pretty quickly. But I've got an idea. What if, let's just pretend that this roll of toilet paper was actually paper that we could write on. And we were going to make a list of all the things that we were thankful for. And that list would go on and on and on. How far do you think this roll would stretch? Yeah, I'm sure more than 100 feet, maybe 200 feet. It would go a long way and we could make a long list. Well, instead of making a list on a roll of toilet paper this week, why don't you identify three people that you need to say thank you to because they've been a blessing to you. They've done something to help you. They were especially nice to you. And just make a point of saying thank you to them. Okay? And let's always remember to be thankful for all the ways that God has blessed us. Let's pray together. Lord God, we thank you today for the children and youth and adults watching this video for all the children and youth and their families in our church and in our community. And we pray your blessings on them. Help us always to be thankful and help us not only to thank you, but to thank other people as well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.